Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Our financial situation is a little bit rough. I failed two satellite missions. I need to stop taking those because if you launch something and you don't do them right away, you fail them. I end up losing reputation and probably money because of that. So I gotta be more choosy about the missions that I choose because for whatever reasons those ones seem to glitch out on me a lot. That's happened to me like three or four times now where if you don't do them right away, one of the other launches counts as the the, the launch and it's it's bad news. So, we are going to be launching a mission to dock two vessels together, because we need to start doing some missions again. I have tourist missions, but they're ones I really don't want to do. They're missions for uh, flybys of Minmus and the Mun. I want to do this one because it will probably unlock future missions, and it seems like it should be relatively easy to do. Let's see, all of our staging looks correct. So let's go. Now... It's a relatively cheap rocket, so hopefully it will have the the oomph we need to get what we need done. Done. We have that up. What else do we want up? We want the maneuver planner for when we actually get to orbit and our orbit info. There we go. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful. Do we, did we not put a pilot on board? Why is this so uncontrollable? I didn't put fins on it. That probably doesn't help. I think I just forgot to put fins on it and it makes it hard to control or something. Because we definitely have a pilot. So anyway, uh, we need to try to reach orbit with two vessels and dock them together. That's why there's a docking port on the front of this, obviously. Would you please settle down? I, I need to remember on the next one to uh, put some fins or something on it. It is unstable. Getting out of the thickest part of the atmosphere now, so it should get a little better. I experimented with the deployment settings in the in the uh, on those parachutes to see if they work better. I think maybe the parachutes are just deploying too high, and it's causing them to like rip apart. So I set that to like pre-deployment doesn't start till ten thousand meters. So we'll see if that's any better. I have really no idea if it will be. I'm hopeful. This is going to be a little hard to make orbit. I, we got off to a kind of crap. I'm not even facing the right direction. Like, why is my... Oh, this is terrible. My uh, ship is all off of what I expected it to be. I put the cockpit on the wrong direction. I wasn't even paying attention to any of the numbers. We're not going to make orbit. Well, a hard time making orbit, at least. I, I think this thing does have extra delta V, but... Ugh... Well, this will be the rond the ship that we rendezvous to, I suppose. I should probably give it an well. We'll give it a name if it makes orbit. It's not worthy of a name right now. I'm gonna set it to probably about 80 kilometers. That's usually a pretty good orbit. Okay, and circularize at the next Apple office. Yeah, this thing has just enough to get this done, so that's fine. What does it say happened? Yeah, they still got destroyed. Because it, it just is not recognizing my parachutes. But the authority of my parachutes. That's really annoying. I have not checked the forums recently to see if there's been any uh, updates to those mods. I, show I probably should. It's a little hard to keep track of some of it just because um, oh, our inclination sucks too. That's going to make it more fun to rendezvous. But um... It's a little bit confusing just because there's basically two tracks for all of the mods right now. There's like the two, the version 1.0.5 version of mods, and then there's the point 1.1. And uh, most of the stuff is up on GitHub, so it's a little bit easier to keep track of, but some of it's not. I wish everybody would just use GitHub because everything would be a lot easier for versioning and everything, but some of the mods don't seem to and it's pretty damn annoying so I just wish this game had Steamworks support like a proper video game but it doesn't so you're gonna make do with what you got alright so let's go ahead and ditch that and finish up our burn so this is a, like I said a pretty cheap spaceship I tried to really not include anything that I didn't think it needed I don't have the MechJeb auto docking mechanism enabled yet because I haven't unlocked it, so that means we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way. 
I could have just put a claw on the other ship, I guess, and just rammed it into the side of this, but we'll try to do it with a little more finesse than that. Alright, so our maneuver needs another 350. Yeah, we'll have enough to deorbit. I was a little bit concerned about that. We have the RCS, actually, which I assume we won't use all of either, hopefully. So we'll be able to deorbit with one of the two of those. I'm a little concerned about the parachute being on the side of the uh, cockpit, I mean, on the side of there, but we'll assume that it won't burn up. Alright, so enjoy your stay in space. We're going to head back down to the space center. Actually, let's warp around a little bit because it's not very realistic to launch them right on top of each other. It's not going to be realistic no matter what, but... Because I'm not, I'm not dealing with the construction mod. It was glitchy for me. I don't know if it's just because of the pre-release version or whatever, but it was very hard to get the settings to work in a way that made any sense. All right, so we're back ready to launch version two of this ship. Let's go ahead and rename this one so I actually know which one is which. Let's call it Orbital... Orbital Rendezvous... That stands for Orbital Rendezvous Vehicle, and then this is two, so... Because it's the second one. SAS is on, throttle good, let's go. So I throttled back the uh, solid rocket boosters a little bit and I added some fins to hopefully stabilize things a little bit better on this one. I'm hoping that means that we'll have a little bit less wonky of a launch. I also will work to remember that I need to go, I need to pull up rather than uh, rotate down. I should have just flipped the cockpit around on this when I was in there but I forgot to so start a little tiny bit of a turn just to get us on a vector away from the space center. I don't want to get too far off because that's where we run into trouble. Those fins I think will make a pretty big difference and the fact that we're not going to be going quite as ridiculously fast. And everything seems nominal. So I think we're going to try to shoot for a higher orbit and phase down to that ship maybe. I have not decided if it's better to be below it or above it. You know, we'll just go for like 72,000 and then we'll figure out our phasing orbit from there because I think, I, I, if I remember right, I put the other one at 80, so that seems like it should work. Let's throttle up main engine. Cool beans, they crashed into each other, that's always fun. Let's flip around so it's not so ho horrible trying to do this. Start to get our gravity turn going towards 45 degrees. The other ship ended up with like a 2 degree inclination or something like that. I'm not going to worry too much about the inclination because we'll be using the maneuver planner to match orbits and stuff. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. It's too many variables. That was not a perfect launch. This launch went a little bit better. So I think we'll be okay. Have more Delta V remaining on this particular ship. And so we're just targeting, like I said, about 72, so we'll probably go to 73, just because there's still some drag on this. So let's do like 72,500, and create and execute that node. And uh, we'll get most of the way up, I think, on this tank, and then we'll just have this for maneuvering, so that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I didn't put any scientific instruments or anything on this because I'm just trying to raise money now and uh, frankly there's no point. We're spending a lot of money on those instruments and uh, there's not much science to return around Kerbin right now anyway. We do need to launch something with uh, a special scanner like orbital radiation or orbital reflector. I don't remember what it's called but next thing that goes out to the MUN we'll slap one of those on there because we can get Kerbin from high orbit and probably the MUN from high orbit then too. All right. Didn't expect that burn to start while we were still in atmosphere. That was a little surprising. Time to apoapsis is not that great here. I don't know. We should have probably aimed for a slightly higher orbit because of our thrust to weight ratio. It's I mean it's pretty good, but uh, we're gonna hit apoapsis. Should have built in slightly more of a buffer on this. Live and learn. 
Oh. Oh. No. 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 So this is going to be a little less efficient than I would have liked, but what are you going to do? Hopefully we'll still make orbit easily enough and... And none of those parachutes ever deploy on those. It's very irritating. I'm losing tons of money. Like, the money thing is kind of nice to have, but at the same time, if the stupid parts recovery won't work right, it's just irritating me. Um, we are totally off of where we want to be. So let's go ahead and circularize again. Because we are not quite in orbit as it is. How is that going to work exactly? What are you doing, Mech Jeb? Um. What? <laughs> uh, where is my smart ASS? Let's just go ahead and go prograde. And I think it was trying to burn radially to. Yeah, that actually is what it's trying to do, isn't it? I mean, it makes sense, but it just wasn't seeming like it was going to actually execute. Why is that screwing up my orbit so badly? Urgh. What is my time to applapse? Okay. Do it this time, Mac Jeb. Come on, man. Oh, because we entered the atmosphere. That's why it's... Okay. That's why it screwed up. That was an ugly ascent profile. Wasted a lot of fuel, but we still have tons. This isn't a big burn we have coming up. Be I was about to say, it'd be nice if we get out of the atmosphere so we could time warp. Alright, so once we get this done, we'll go ahead and set our targets. We'll get rid of the orbit info. I'll leave Delta V up, because that's good to have. Smart ASS is going to be useful for getting the docking completed and stuff, so we'll leave that up as well. And so we're going to be traveling faster than our target, wherever our target is. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Set as target. We're actually in much closer of an orbit than I would have liked. Let's see what it says about... I don't really want to intercept that. I just want to intercept. I don't really care if it's at a chosen time. Um, how long is this? What the heck kind of maneuver is that? Okay, so I'm going to get into a higher orbit and phase from what are you doing mech jeb mech jeb mech jeb mech jeb what are you doing what are you doing jesus man i did not want you executing anything who told you to do that so let's change our apple apsis to 90k and execute that so we can get into a reasonable phasing orbit here do I have a target info? I don't seem to have a target info thing. Is there a custom window editor that I can do for this? Let's see. Orbit info, target, vessel info. Orbit, yeah, I guess. We don't have a target window yet, apparently. Which is a little bit annoying. What are we doing, Mech Jeb? We're having some Mech Jeb issues here, I will tell you what. We're in the atmosphere again, too. Because of whatever random stupid burn it did. How far in the atmosphere are we going here? Where's my periaps? Damn it, Mech Jeb! We're gonna lose. This is like wasting so much fuel. I don't understand what it did. This is why I usually go to a much higher orbit, but I'm trying to conserve fuel, and this is what it gets me. It's gonna take forever just to get to this stupid maneuver node because we're in the stupid atmosphere, and the maneuver node's gonna be all screwed up anyway because the burn is gonna end up being a lot bigger because we're in the atmosphere. So when we get down to like 
about 30 seconds away from this. So I'm actually going to remove this node and create a new one. I just want it as a timer right now. This has been a sloppy, sloppy mission. It's because I'm like cobbling together stuff. I don't have the full mech jet automation that I should have. And I'm not flying completely manually, so I end up with this hodgepodge of manual and automatic things and then it ends up doing something I don't expect like whatever sort of insane burn it was attempting to do I thought I just created that node to see what it would do for the intercept instead of actually like executing but costly mistake there and the freaking cockpit starting to heat up here too that's wonderful Uh, I am beyond irritated at this moment. This was supposed to be a simple way to make some stupid money because we are out of money all the time. Because of glitchy failed missions. Well, and I launched those satellites. The satellites were not inex inexpensive, but just like a bunch of stuff is conspiring to irritate me right now. Okay, that's wonderful. <sighs> Remove the node. Remove the node. Let's just do this the old-fashioned way. Aim prograde. Where is my orbit info? Go up to 90. At this point, probably like 95 or 100 just to be safe. Go ahead and circularize, create, and execute. So hopefully, we'll make it through this stupid atmosphere. How far are we to our periaps? 30 seconds and then we'll start climbing again. Annoying, annoying, annoying. Come on, let's get out of the atmosphere so we can actually time warp here. Yeah, we're going to be at an 80... Our orbit's still only going to be like 80k. Remove the node. Prograde. Burn more fuel. Now go ahead and do it. <sighs> well, we'll just wait till we get out of the atmosphere and fix this. Very messed up flight. Very messed up flight. We're practically suborbital again. Well, I mean, we are suborbital, but... Because it's taking so flippin' long to get out of this atmosphere. Alright, so I finally exited the atmosphere. And I apologize if you can hear a noise in the background. My lovely neighbor has ridiculously loud bass on for some idiotic reason, because they're morons. They listen to music louder than like anyone ever should. I don't understand it. It's very annoying, but it is what it is, and I'm just in a foul mood anyway because this mission's been going so irritatingly. So, we are finally out of the atmosphere. They just skimmed along in the atmosphere forever, it felt like. Didn't end up costing us that much Delta V in the end. Probably wasted a 75, 80 meters per second, but we've got that done. Now we can deal with getting our intercept set up for the uh, other capsule. No, is that it? Set as target. Let's see what we got here. Now, I would prefer to have Mech Jeb just figure this out so I don't have to mess around with a bunch of stuff I don't want to do. Let's see. Match velocities with target. Intercept at chosen time. So if I create this node, what does it do? It's, why does it do these, the, like, Megjet, you gotta realize, like, intercepting at all costs is not a good idea. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to fiddle around with this on my own, I suppose, and figure this out, because Megjet is just making idiotic decisions on this. And I think we happen to be on the exact opposite sides of the planet, so I'm gonna warp around a little bit until we have more favorable conditions. Of course, I can't warp very quickly because of the altitude we're at, so that's fun too. All right, so I fiddled around with my maneuver notes. We got a 5.5 kilometer intercept there. It only takes 82, almost 83 meters of delta V. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it, so we're gonna go ahead and execute that node and hopefully it'll actually work out like it's supposed to here. 
you never really know, I guess. And then we'll get our maneuver editor, our maneuver planner ready. And this is really handy because you can just advance one orbit. So I was just messing around with it till I got an orbit that looked like it was going to be fairly efficient to do. We ended up boosting up to 120 uh, kilometer orbit. So we're going to be falling in at a slower speed. Basically, this is catching up with us. And uh, see how that goes. My satellites are getting wonkier. I'm going to have to spend some time adjusting the orbits of one or two of them. Probably, I don't know. Because I'm, I'm getting worried that one of them is going to get out of contact with Kerbal Space Center. And these satellites are key to all of my automated things in the future. So it's kind of important that that not happen. One of the annoying things about doing an intercept at this altitude is that the time warp only goes at 50 times. So it takes forever to get around to the orbit that I want. So I will meet you when we're actually doing the burn. All right, so I have an orb, uh, an intercept of like a half a kilometer, so 500 meters is the targeted goal here. Uh, it's in a few orbits. One of the annoying things about being in this orbit is that uh, you can't time warp very quickly. So I'm just waiting for MacJub to get this started. I used the uh, maneuver editor to just advance one orbit at a time and, and bring the uh, the two markers closer and closer together until I was happy with the approach. It's only going to take about 83 meters of uh, per second of delta V to actually accomplish this. Then we'll match our relative velocities and close in with using RCS from there. Uh, do I have the ability to match velocities? Yes, I do. That's a, so we'll use MechJeb to do that. So I think we have one orbit to go until this burn happens. Like I said, it's it's not exactly the most exciting thing in the entire world, the way that this works with the time warp at this speed. Yeah, my uh, my satellites, I need to fix those. That one needs to get a little caught up with that one. I'll do that at some point. I'm I'm just worried that they'll get out of range of the space center at some point because this is going to be like the core of my entire communications network. All of them have basically entirely full tanks of fuel. It's like a thousand Delta V each that they have. So I, de I designed them purposely to be long-term and be able to make adjustments to their orbit. So we are executing our burn momentarily here. Is that our target? That's probably our target. I have the distance object mod on so we can actually see the light reflecting off of things. Let's go ahead and match velocities with the target to create the node that's in five minutes. So that seems about right. Let's go ahead and execute the node. And unfortunately, I do not have target in target info like the relative velocity things and stuff don't show up. I guess that wasn't that was something else, a moon or something. Our targets down there, unless I wasn't paying attention, which is entirely possible. It is definitely entirely possible I was not paying attention. All right, so 542 meters. That's not too shabby. So what we're going to do from here is I'm going to, just for the sake of safety, shut down the main engine, get rid of the maneuver planner, the Delta V thing, get rid of all that stuff. Let's go ahead and target plus, turn on our RCS. Now it's been a while since I've used any of this stuff. How do I go forward? Seriously, like I want to translate forward. Do I need to go in the docking mode? Up, down, left, right. Um, shift. Okay, it's still just shift. Been a while since I've used any of this stuff. So, basically, we're trying to align our two circles here. And it's control. Yeah, control slows this down. Okay. Like I said, it's been a while since I've used the RCS controls or any of this stuff, so... Hopefully... Are we going to be going into the dark? Pretty soon, unfortunately. Let's speed up just a little bit so this doesn't take an age to close this gap here. Let's get up to like 5 meters per second. 
what is my fuel situation here? Pop that up so I can see. Close down this. We have tons of monopropellant. Let's close it to 10. Just because I'm getting bored. Uh, I could switch over there and change the orientation of the other ship. I probably will if it's way off. Maybe we'll finish the docking using the other ship, but we'll see what it actually... I think that's the side view of it. It's a little hard to tell. Yeah, there's the side of it, so we're coming from the side. That's alright. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Alright. Let's try to stop relative to it. Which means... Oh, they... they this is screwing me up here, man. Let's go ahead and turn this just to off and turn on our SAS and maneuver from here. Sorry if I'm not talking a lot, but I'm trying to focus here. Having some alignment trouble here, but... Go up and over. So we're basically stopped relative to the target now. So let's actually switch to the other ship. Where is. There it is. Set our target. Control from here just for sanity's sake. Turn on the. Yes, can I, why can I not pitch? Oh, because I have to use... I don't really want to use RCS. Let's go ahead and go back to staging. Okay. RCS, docking mode. Alright, so we are drifting together now. At a half a meter per second. I should have put a light on here. I never, I never think of that. That space is dark. Easy does it. It's hard to tell what my alignment actually is here. So much concentration. Manual docking is always stressful. It's fun when you get it, though. Alright, are those actually aligned with each other? I think they kind of are. Come on, magnets! Awesome sauce. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Okay, get rid of that. I don't care about that. So what do we get for that mission? I forget. We eh. Eh. Probably paid for it. Yeah, it paid for itself, but Whew. This counts as a first station. That's kind of funny. That's why you run into trouble with some of those um some of those missions and stuff is because it counts things. So we're going to probably just go around for an orbit or two just to say we did. Let's go ahead and make sure that both of the engines are shut down. I'm going to bring these two down separately rather than together just for safety's sake. So I will meet you on the ground. Probably try to land them both at the space near the space center too just for the hell of it. Which we're over right now. So next time around I'll undock and take one of these down.
Are we... We changed our vector enough to enter the atmosphere. I didn't even check the orbital info. Um, orbit, orbit, orbit. How much... Barely in the atmosphere. It doesn't really matter. It just means they will both eventually come back down, which is actually fine. But let me time warp. Why do you have to be so annoying about the time warps game? So my traditional place to burn is over here. Alright, so we've gone around once. We're ready to undock in the dark again, of course. Uh, which one am I controlling? Let's control from here. Undock. And I guess you're the first one going home. So let's set orbit. Retrograde. Turn on the RCS. And let's just back away. And take a look at our map. Oh yeah, I disabled the engine still, didn't I? It's using the RCS, but... Uh, map. Activate engine. Alright, so bring this one home, then I'll bring the other one home. And so I'll meet you back at the Space Center, barring any sort of horrific incident. Alright, so both of our pilots have successfully splashed down. Our scan set's not yet complete, so I'm not going to bother to transmit the science back from that. But let's go check out what new missions we have available now. Should have something, I would imagine. So we have one available slot ferry. I'm sick of the VIPs. They just drive me crazy. Especially because they all want to go to Midmiss and stuff now. And it's just like, it's not really worth my trouble. Although, the, I mean, it's a kind of decent amount of money. But, I mean, that would pay for a few satellites. But it just gets annoying. Don't want to do anything with Solar Orbit. Bunch of more Midmiss and Mun people. Ionization scan of Minmis. That seems like something that's doable. We do have a scanner for that. So let's go ahead and accept that, even though we probably won't be doing it right away. I think the next thing I want to do is launch one of my, um, my, my scan sat, basically, into orbit of the MUN. It's going to require a couple of modifications. I th I'm going to have to double check the Delta V stats on it. Let's actually see. I know it's going to need a, a longer range antenna because we don't have any communication relays around the MUN yet. The MUN is going to be our main focus just because it's not so far away. Where is my scan sat? There it is. So this has probably plenty of Delta V because we need some of the Delta V in that final stage. I just need to get in here and make a quick tweak to it. Where would be a good spot to add that satellite dish? Well, I'm going to do some modifications to this and end it here for today. See you next time. Thanks for watching.